Gavana wa Nairobi Johnson Sakaja amesisitiza umuhimu wa kuheshimiana na umoja katika Jamhuri ya Kenya kwenye sherehe za sikukuu ya Jamhuri. Three generations of captivity our ancestors endured cruelties and indignities that we cannot begin to comprehend. Yet the colonizer underestimated the courage of our ancestors. Our ancestors faced the guns of the British Empire without flinching. Many gave their lives for a liberty that they would never see. We are the sons and daughters, the inheritors of these heroes. These men and women built the mightiest empire the world had ever seen. They forged a new nation in which they toiled patiently for peace, for prosperity, for freedom, and for the dignity that they had been so long denied. Everything we have, fellow Kenyans, we inherited from them. One of the men to whom we owe our independence, the first president of the Republic of Kenya, Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, understood that every new generation of leaders has to make its mark. It was no good, he said, only to read about heroes of the past. We had to fashion ourselves to be the architects of the future. And so we are now responsible for the management of the inheritance we have received and we will be judged by how well we build on this generation after independence. Your Excellency, our President, as the first President of Kenya, born after independence, you are the leader of this bold, new, fresh generation of Kenya that is taking up from those who were there before we got our independence. Our trials and our triumphs since independence teach us two lessons, Your Excellency. We advance when we set aside our differences and commit ourselves to the common good. We fall behind when we are divided. So the first thing that this new generation of leaders must do is to rededicate ourselves to national unity. One, national unity means inclusion. This new generation must make certain that no one Whatever their race, whatever their religion, whatever their region, whatever their political affiliation will be denied a say when we make decisions for our country. Every Kenyan deserves to be heard.